Hey, what's up YouTube, friends, fans? Welcome back to my channel, Oda Treasure. This is Steven, and this is episode 21. In here, I have a famous, discontinued, rare, generally loved by the men that know about this and that had this for nostalgic reasons, a, uh, a famous Ralph Lauren cologne. A Ralph Lauren cologne that is not polo green. You know, what's funny is it seems like my channel, the fragrances I'm interested in, all, a lot of them are either Ralph Lauren or Gucci. It seems to be a theme with this channel. Again, we're going to stick with Ralph Lauren, but I found something that is classic, and it is not polo green. And I can't hold you in suspense because I'm making the title of the video and you know what's in here but this is a fragrance that invokes the feeling of the west the wild wild west can you imagine the west in men's perfumery this is it this was it this is no longer around anymore this is a relic and i uncovered it so let's unpack a famous Ralph Lauren men's cologne, and I'll tell you a little bit about what it is. So let's get this sucker open. By the way, I hope you're having a great week. This is a Tuesday for me. My day was pretty good today. Went to my full-time job. No problems. No news is good news, right? Got through the day without any major catastrophes. Actually, there was one problem. There was one weird thing. I uh, tried to have an online meeting. I clicked the link and opened up a Zoom window and had an online meeting literally hundreds of times in the past couple of years. And today I tried to do it. The link would not open. And I, the time came for the meeting. I was worried about my customer. And uh, within five minutes, my company fixed the problem, logged in, and my customer said that on his end, he thinks he had a broken link too. So that's, it was a broken link. That's why the Zoom window didn't open. And uh, my manager and I were having a little bit of a issue with it, but that's all. Water under the bridge now. Now it's time to focus on this rare discontinued beauty. Actually, this is a set. It's a beauty set. What's in here? Actually, you know what's in here, but you just want to see what this looks like if you don't know. If you don't know, then after this video, you'll know. All right. It comes up every now and again, this fragrance, where I go shopping for these things, but not often. Once every three or four months, I'll see this pop up. Saw this pop up, and I bought it within one minute within one maybe two minutes that it popped up on the website bought because it wasn't overpriced by a crazy amount all right here we go first we have a nice note from the seller can you read that can you read that <laughs> this says captain america and this probably says something to the effect of thank you very much for buying my perfume I hope we have a chance to buy it again. I hope we have a chance to do business again next time. Hope you're having a wonderful day. And it's on some kind of company stationery, work that connects people. Anyway, that's my nickname. I don't use my real name online. So it makes sense. I'm from America and I like Marvel comics. Why not call myself Captain America? And this is a very American cologne, speaking of which. How do we open this up? How do we get this open? There it is. There's the seam. Man, this is tough. I just got to cut it open. Sorry to keep you in suspense, but that's part of the gimmick. If there is such a thing. Okay. Nice individually wrapped bottles. There are three bottles here. And this is what 
we are looking at Ralph Lauren Chaps. Ralph Lauren Chaps Cologne. I have three bottles that should be pretty much full. These are, as far as I know, uh, splash bottles. They are not spray bottles. And I have to open each one up so I can inspect them. So let's do that. Let's zoom in here. Get a closer look. Okay. So Ralph Lauren Chaps. This is supposed to invoke the feeling and imagery of the West. Wild West, West, whatever you want to call it. These bottles are so cool, in my opinion. I think this is so cool. It's a dark brown glass bottle, kind of like a like a beer bottle color. Chaps Ralph Lauren. This is brand new. The print is just perfect on this. Small size. This is almost a mini size. 22 ml. Three quarters fluid ounce ounces so this came out in 1979 and i don't even think oh there is a batch code on it a n 9 see that and it says warner the sticker on it warner cosmetics this is one of the original um i know with polo i've been learning recently about the um vintages of the polo Cosmere is the popular one that people know that is the original, but it's not the original maker, Cosmere. Cosmere is something like the late 80s through the 90s. So people looking for Cosmere Polo products that want the original strongest batches, that's fine. But before that, there was Warner, and this says Warner. So this is a very early batch. I don't know if this is 1979 but it's definitely early 80s, and the fact that it's brand new looking is amazing. Look at this cap. It's plastic, but this is like, looks like a belt buckle from a cowboy that you would see out west, right? Look at that. This is really cool. Now, I got to be careful to open it up because it's a splash bottle. We don't want it to get all over the place. Look at that, a metal top. There's the inside. Look at this thing. Let's see how it smells. Just a touch, just a touch. Take a look at how full it is. It's pretty much right up to the top here. All right, this one is beautiful. I don't even know if I have to take these out. I don't know, even know if I should take these out. These are pretty much can see does it look the same as this and this one's a little bit less than this but it's almost the same it's like brand new I feel like I'm gonna keep them in these uh, packs why do you need to see the same thing if it's the same a n 9 this is interesting too a n 9 a n 9 and then this one of course a n 9 all the same batch code, which is really cool. When you, to be honest, when I've bought a lot of things that are the same, the same bottle, they're not always the same batch code. Finding the same batch code is difficult. All three of these have the same batch code. The top is a little bit worn on this one, but that's all right, this one looks clean. So these are beautiful. All together, this is 66 ml of vintage Ralph Lauren Chaps Cologne splash bottles. These are so cool. I have a number of these, maybe a, I'd say a handful, maybe four or five of these bottles of different sizes. Another sign that things are pretty old, meaning mid to early 80s, late 70s, is these odd bottle sizes. So here's an example, 22 ml is odd. Have you ever seen a 22 ml bottle before? I haven't. This is the first time. So I have a 50 ml of this, or maybe it's a 60 ml. I have a spray, a couple splashes. I think I have 100 ml in the box. So when these pop up, 
I buy them if the price is reasonable, meaning it's under 40 bucks. And in Japan here, people don't know what this is. People don't care about this. This is, to them, this is kind of junk. So I'm able to pick them up even if I don't see them for a couple days. Uh, they sit there. If the price is 30 bucks, it, nobody buys it. And then I offer 20, 25, and I get them. So, all right. Let's set this up here. So that's pretty much it for this one. What does it smell like? Yeah, it's just like, it's like a real intense version of Stetson. You know what Stetson is. Stetson is the modern, uh, I'd say modern, but that's from the 80s and 90s and 2000s too. You know what Stetson is. So if you can picture Stetson as being a little bit stronger, more intense, that's what this is. Maybe they let this one go discontinued they let this one go out of stock because they just didn't want to compete with stetson i don't know the bottle changed i think in the 90s the bottle was less western themed looking it was more modern the bottle but anyway it's not around anymore on ebay they're selling anywhere from 50 bucks up to 250 bucks for a 100 ml spray bottle of it but i've never seen anything like this what are these worth i don't know i'm I'm guessing that these are worth 50 bucks a piece at least. Someone would pay, probably pay 50 bucks for this. What did I pay for this? Uh, I can't remember exactly. Let's say I paid 20 bucks for these. 20 bucks for these or maybe six or seven dollars each. Very happy with that. All right, so that's it for this one, episode 21 on EDT. Please give me a thumbs up. Please like my video if you enjoy my content and subscribe by clicking the link down below if you want to see more. I'm making these videos just to show off my collection and to show these great things that I'm finding and buying online and adding to my collection because I just think this is so cool. I think people would like to see this. Some, some people out there might enjoy seeing this kind of stuff. Someday I'm going to sell these off. I'm going to sell off my collection maybe five years down the road, ten years. But there is a shelf life to this stuff, so it won't be that much uh, farther into the future. Hope you enjoyed the video, and come back for the next one, episode 22. Can't tell you right now what it is, but I have an idea. It probably has something to do with classic Azaro. And uh, classic Azaro might be coming up, and what's the other classic? And maybe another classic Ralph Lauren. All right, thanks for watching.